been a long time since my first setup tour, so I'm gonna start with this portion of my room and make my way all the way to the main setup. It is December, so I made sure to pick up a nice little Christmas tree. I bought this one from Target. It's six feet tall and it's pretty lit. The red and gold ornaments are also from Target, but these clear ones I bought on Amazon. I feel like the tree is pretty simple. I didn't buy a tree skirt just cause every stream, I pick up the tree and move it over here so it's visible. So constantly having to set up and remove the tree skirt was just a huge pain. We got a special ornament right here. If you know, you know. Before I go on to my productivity setup, I wanna look at my ethernet. I have this routed up and all the way to my main setup. Plus the cable is white, so it's super hard to tell it's even there. Honestly, it's one of my favorite parts about the setup. Next up is my productivity setup. Here is where I do all of my schoolwork, edit all my videos. I film a lot of videos here too. To actually power the setup is the 2020 M1 MacBook Pro. I've had this for around nine or 10 months now, and I've had no problems with editing or any of my tasks that I need to do. I got this on the used market for a much cheaper price since I didn't want to go all in and buy the 2021 M1 Pro MacBook. I'm sure I'll upgrade one day, but for now, this does more than enough for me. Next to that is my 34 inch ultra wide from Philips. This is a 1440p curved monitor and I don't need any crazy specs, just something that looks good for me to edit on. Plus with it being ultra wide, it's really easy for me to multitask. It's kind of like having three screens. Oh yeah, I'll try to have all the product links in the description for you. Pulling on my MacBook is this laptop stand from a company called Design. I thought it looked pretty modern and minimal and it cost me around 20 bucks on Amazon. And then holding my ultra wide is a single arm mount from Vivo. Vivo makes tons of high quality products and I use their monitor arms for all of my monitors in my room. I will say though, it's a little dented here just cause the ultra wide is so heavy. I need to get that sorted eventually, but for now the monitor stands up. Above the setup, I have these cool light panels. These look a ton like nano leaves, but they are not nano leaves. These are color lights triangle panels and they cost about half the price of nano leaves. Color light sent these out to me a couple months ago and I did a review on them. They're super high quality. Their app just got a lot better and you can control it with your smart devices, which I didn't know until like a week ago. I turn on all my lights with my Amazon Echo. So once I found this out, it made everything so much easier. Again, these are half the price of nano leaves. So if you're interested, make sure to go to my description. I do have a special link just for me. If you use that, that will support me and help out the channel. So please go use that. On the topic of lighting behind my ultra wide, I have two Gobi flow bars. They give a cool glow to the wall and they're a lot easier to manage than LED strips. Behind the desk, however, I am using LED strips. I try to make sure almost all of my products were from Gobi just so they'd be easier to control. For the actual desk, I'm using a 55 inch Ikea lag captain. This tabletop has been great for me. I've used it in both of my setups and when I built my best friend setup. If you haven't watched that, you're gonna go watch it after this video. For the legs, I went simple with four Ikea Addos. I was gonna go for a motorized desk, but things kind of fell out and I just went with these to keep it simple. Some of the other things that happen to my desk include my Thunderport station. With this, I have a lot more USB ports. I can connect HDMI and display port to my monitors and their super accessible headphone and SD card slots. It is a little bit pricey, but it is a super good tool. And if you're serious about content, I would recommend it. Next to that, I have a little fake plant from Ikea. Next up, my Amazon Echo Show. Here I have a Stream Deck Mini. I used to use this at my main setup, but I got a full-size Elgato Stream Deck, so I kept it here. Next to that, I have this white charging stand. I do want a MagSafe one, but this is also from my old setup, so I decided to just use it here. It's not really broken, so there's no need to fix it. And then all the way to the right, I have another fake plant from Ikea, and then I have a key light from the company, Relena. I've seen a couple creators use this key light, and it's a super good quality product. Not only are you getting a very good product, you're also saving loads of money on the way. Nothing against these companies, of course, I just want to help you guys save money. And next up, let's get on to my peripherals. For my keyboard, I have this 75% board from the company Vistles. This is another product that was sent to me and I'm in love with this keyboard. It has a super good build quality. It's good with Windows and Mac and the switches sound amazing. I'll get a quick sound test in before we move on. The only thing I changed with this is that I put my own keycaps on. I believe these are drops black on white keycaps. I love the simple look of these and they feel super satisfying to use. Oh yeah, it also comes with a wrist rest. If you do need a keyboard for your gaming, work, or productivity, make sure to go to my description. I have a code, make sure to use that to get a couple dollars off. To the right, I have the super popular Logitech MX Master 3. Super good mouse for productivity. For gaming, not so much. I love this thing to death. And I have this all in a Getty Aiden mouse pad. I know it's dirty, don't, I know how to wash mouse pads. Don't get on my head right now. But this is from the John collection. I don't remember exactly what the mouse pad is called, but I know it's with the John collaboration. To wrap up the productivity setup, let's look under the desk. As you can see, yes, I do take care of cable management. In the front here, I have two pencil drawers and then a bunch of camera batteries. I like to stay stacked on these, especially if I'm vlogging or if I'm making a super long video, I don't want to have an issue where my batteries die and I can't film. Plus they're pretty cheap. They're like $20 a pack. For under the desk, I didn't go too crazy. I took the surge protectors and stuck them under the bottom of the desk. And then I drilled this cable rack at the bottom and I stuck all the cables through there. In my opinion, it's not perfect, but I think it's pretty good. 
next to that on the right we have this ikea nightstand ikea is super good with making modern and minimal products so i had to pick this up on it i have this little oil diffuser from target this lamp from amazon and another wireless charger from amazon what's cool with this lamp is that it's touch sensitive so if i touch it a couple times it'll turn off i did put my own rgb light bulb in there just so i could customize the colors for stream and i like this charger because i can charge my phone my airpods and my apple watch all at the same time it's super good to recharge my devices overnight next if you look up unlike those these actually are nano leaf these i actually bought out of my own wallet so nano leaf please sponsor your boy but i got the rhythm pack i'm pretty sure it comes with nine panels and honestly when it comes to the pattern and designs i don't know if nano leaf can be taught i have this little christmas pattern going along with it i found it on the app which is also super easy to use i have another govi led strip going around my bed and we're gonna ignore my bed right now just because my sheets are in the washer however over here i do have a santa pillow a twitch pillow and i have this christmas throw y'all rocking with santa i like to add these little details to my stream just so i can add some personality and maybe catch the eye of a new viewer i like to express myself through my setup in my room so that's why i spend ungodly amounts of money over here i have a neon santa sign i actually had this last year and if you're a part of my community you remember this sign it's a cool little touch and i like it just because this part of my wall was blank i want to add a neon sign with my name there soon i'll probably check etsy and then here and all around my ceiling i have these fairy lights i feel like they add a super cool touch to the christmas theme they're not super noticeable on stream which is annoying but i think they look good plus they were pretty easy to get on the ceiling so i'm not really complaining over here is where i have my tv i usually just watch sports on here i sometimes play games but i don't really do that anymore i have a raceway to take all the cables from here all the way down to the surge protector i have tucked away again not perfect but i tried the best i could and then here i have another dresser from ikea it looks pretty similar to the nightstand but it is a lot bigger and it has an extra drawer on this side i have a plant and a candle both i found at tj maxx if you're looking for cheap decor and small things you can add to your setup tj maxx marshall's ross all those stores are the places to go before you go to the more popular and more expensive stores make sure to check those places out here i have this lighting kit from the company light me this is another product that was sent to me basically it has an led strip that mimics what i have on my tv and what's cool with this is that instead of having a camera sticking out it can detect it with hdmi this is something that most companies don't have yet for example if i was to turn it on right now it's kind of hard to tell what the lights i have on but it's obviously working let me just put on something random hey guys a little better besides that i just have my switch dock my hard drive for my xbox and my xbox one s i'll be honest i don't really play this anymore this is for two reasons first because i don't really play games when i'm not streaming plus i have a full-blown computer and a series s here so I don't really touch that. It's nice if I have guests over though, if we want to play on the TV. Around here, I have all my cables and I have a little floodlight that I hardly use. Here, the cables aren't super pretty, but they're tucked away and I can manage them really easily. Now moving on, finally is the main setup. First, we could just start off with my monitors. For my main, I use a 1080p 144 hertz monitor from Asus. I bought this during the summer when I was rebuilding my setup. It's nothing crazy, but it does the job. Especially since if you tune into my streams, you know I suck at games. Above that, I have a 75 hertz monitor from Acer. I don't really care much about the specs on this just because I have it on top. I usually have discord on the left and spotify on the right and then to the left i have this big on monitor from dell this is another 34 inch ultra wide i bought this from the used market and i like it when i bought it i didn't know it was 1440p which is kind of cool but here i usually have obs sometimes i like people tabbed up on twitch i feel like this is the perfect monitor layout like with the ultra wide and all you can obviously go with another 24 inch or 27 inch but for me the ultra wide is perfect and like i said at the beginning of the video i have all of my monitors on vivo arms right here i have their extra tall arm and here i just have another regular single arm for my mic arm i use the blue cup compass and for my mic i use the toner q9 i was super fortunate to have toner send this out to me and so far it's been really good however it does buzz sometimes when i'm in discord calls and i don't know why i'll be honest it's the most annoying thing ever because i'll be in a call with friends and apparently my mic will just start buzzing and I have to mute besides that it's pretty good because i can move away and it can still detect my voice pretty well i tried to add cool little details like the bow right here and the christmas lights on the arm a little basic i know but i've never done this before and it looks really good for my peripherals i have another gutsy and mouse pad this is from the avalanche collection it goes with any color scheme and i think it looks especially good with the christmas theme i have going on my keyboard i have a royal clutch rk61 this is a very budget keyboard it's not that good i just haven't upgraded yet i was gonna build my own but i don't know i don't really care enough what i'll probably do is buy one from high ground they have really good keyboards apparently for my mouse i have the logitech g703 it's a super good lightweight mouse but i will probably upgrade to the super light in the future just because i'm pretty sure it's a lighter mouse and if it's white i feel like it'll match the setup more over here i have another switch dog i don't know if i mentioned this earlier but i put this white cover on it just so it would match the theme more if you can't tell already i'm kind of extra with these little details next to that is another fake plant from ikea i have another phone charger i've got a stream deck and a water bottle oh yeah and this charger for my mouse best way i could put it is over here i have all of my essential stuff i need when i stream or when i'm gaming here's where i usually put my camera when i'm making videos or when i'm live the camera i use is the canon m50 mark ii i use the 15 to 45 mil kit lens for whenever i'm live just so i can kind of get the blurry background but usually when i'm vlogging or recording like this i use this 10 to 18 millimeter ultra wide lens i feel like the ultra wide lens is really nice 
nice and adds a cool angle to my videos. But I think that's everything on my desk. So now let's talk about the PC. I just case swapped my PC and I've been in love with it. This is the Height Y60. I got it in white. And I also made sure to get six Corsair LL120s. I've wanted these fans for so long and I'm so happy I finally pulled the trigger. Before I talk about the specs, some of the little decorations I have is this Christmas sign there, another plan. Put a fat bow right here. I did that last year and I feel like it looks good. And obviously the red, white, and green color scheme. It's a little hard to see, but inside I have an Asus RTX 3060. I was able to buy this once I graduated from high school with graduation money. I did have to pay scalper price though, which kind of sucks, but it was a good investment because it led me to making the content and videos that I make today. Here I have 16 gigs of Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro RAM. Again, I'm planning on upgrading specs in the new year, so I'm probably going to jump to 32 gigs. Another part I want to upgrade is my CPU. Right now I have an Intel i5 11400F. I know it's an i5, but it was 11th gen and it was pretty good. I've been heavily contemplating on switching to AMD. If I did, I'd probably get their 5900X or their 5950X. I'm pretty sure that's what the CPUs are called. Staying with Intel would be simple because of the parts I have, but Ryzen is so much better from what I've heard. And then it's hard to see, but I have another one of these stickers with my Twitch tag on it. I got one of these last year in white, but for some reason I liked it in black. I just wish it was more visible because it looks kind of cool. That's all for the PC. All that's left is my wall and cable management. We'll start from the top and make our way down. Up top, I have an Ikea lac shelf in black. I was going to do it in white, but I like the contrast with black and then the white walls and a white desk plus the black legs. I like to have a good mix. I have another Govi LED strip running through the back just to give that cool glow. Right here, I have the Devoom Pixel Max. It's a cool little pixelated screen. It goes up to 32 by 32 and you can add loads of cool designs to their app. To the right of that, I have a Govi lamp, which looks really cool and a plant that I found at TJ Maxx. I do want to add more up here though. So if you have any ideas, go into my comment section. I'll try to reply to as much of you as possible. Now for the wall, I added these 3D panels that I think are really cool. They aren't sound dampening panels, but they look really cool. And I tried to make sure they weren't super basic. I know everybody has like the normal 3D ones, but these are a little different and I like them. Plus I think they'll look great with the RGB bouncing off the wall. For this, I had to buy two packs to make sure I had enough. Under the desk, I went with the same method for cable management as I did in my productivity setup. Something you might notice is that I have my controllers hanging under the desk and I have my Xbox under my desk. I didn't want to just throw them in the drawer. I wanted them to be somewhere close by and somewhere that's like actually functional. I found these little mounts on Amazon that I will include in the description. I think the mount for this is actually from Vivo, the same company that has all my monitor mounts. I think it's really cool that they have one dedicated to Xbox and consoles. It's a cool product that you don't think you need until you try it. And I have it upside down because the fan is on the bottom. And when I had it the right way, it would make my desk super hot. It doesn't really matter anyway, since you can't really see it. For the legs, I bought four of these black legs from Amazon. These ones actually aren't from Ikea. They're a little bigger and a lot more sturdy. I wanted to make sure I had good table legs just because my desk is about 78 inches long. So I have four of those and this big silver leg in the middle just so I can get that extra stability. And to the right, I have my little USB hub and then I have an HDMI switcher. This is super convenient since I have an Xbox and a switch with HDMI. So if I want to start playing a different console, I just have to press a button. And then here's a better look at how the cables are looking. Basically invisible from an eye level. Besides that, I just have a trash can under my desk and I actually have my fan on my right when I'm live. But yeah, that is my 2022 Christmas room tour. Thank you guys so much for watching and making it to the end of the video. Make sure to show love down below and rate this set about a 10 in the comments. You guys are my inspiration and I wouldn't be able to do this without you. So again, thank you so much. If you want to check out more of my videos, check out my channel literally right here. I appreciate you for watching and happy holidays.